Hey going team, I'm here with uh, Katrina. Yes, Katrina. A student who has uh, come to the program, and now you're in a gym, personal trainer people. How exciting is that? It's super. Well it's done. Awesome. Yes. So Katrina has gone from jockey, yep. mother, to personal trainer. How excited are you? Uh, it's, it's really exciting. It's a learning curve. It's fun. Okay, so how about well, what did you do before you uh, came to Max? I was a mother of three young children, mm -hmm. um, and prior to that, I was a jockey. So you were a jockey yep. and a mother. Yes. Wow, it's amazing. And you retired from being a, uh, a horse rider jockey, a race racing jockey. Yep. Uh, retired when I fell pregnant with my middle daughter. Yeah. And um, focused on being a stay-at-home mum for a while. So you stay home mum. Yep. And what made you want to uh, become a personal trainer? I wanted to get back into the workforce with a change of career. Yeah. Uh, my passions have always been horses or animals mm. and health and fitness. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to go back to being a jockey with the um, risk of injury, the, yeah. the dangers. Yeah. So um, I thought, well, a few people actually suggested maybe I should go down this path. And, Make some phone calls. And how did you find Max? Um, the people who owned the gym that I trained at, they had trained at Max and so had some of their personal trainers that I had trained with. And I really connected with them. I loved their training. So I thought, well, I'll give Max a, a call. And um, yeah, spoke with um, Greg yeah. and um, signed up basically straight away. Okay, and how did you find Max? How did you enjoy it? Did you Awesome. It's made me question everything I thought I knew. Yeah. Um, I've, I've learned lots. It's so positive. It's, um, yeah, it's just been a fantastic experience and with the ongoing learning, it's, there's always help to support me. Yeah. And you've just graduated and you had class before you graduated, is that right? Or lined up? I had some lined up, yeah. Um, from the training sessions we do in our for our assessments, yeah. so that helped to, to build some clients there. Um, and then I went into the gym that already had some people waiting for a personal trainer yeah. that would um, start training with. And how many, how many sessions do you, uh, people you look after there, how many sessions a week? Um, at the moment, 23, I've got booked. 23 um, sessions? Yep, yeah, this awesome. is my third week. So in three weeks you boost up to 23 sessions? Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Yep. Yeah. So wow. hoping to keep working on that, keep building, and um, we'll see. Um, and, and the gym is at, at, uh, in Bow Desert, right? So it's a bit more country area. It is, it's a rural area. Yeah. Um, there's only two gyms in Bow Desert. Uh, we have a high obesity crisis there. Yeah. So it's um, quite rewarding to, to try and help people if, if they are wanting to achieve some goals and lose some weight and get physical. Okay, and, and how much do you charge per session? Um, it's through the gym. Yeah. Um, they, the gym charges um, $55 for a session. $55 a session, awesome. Yeah. And um, what do you enjoy most about training? What's been the, the difference or the similarity between doing a, going from a student to a trainer? What have you found the transition like? It was quite smooth because the training with all the preparation in the assessments you're basically just ready to go into it you always have a little bit of nerves and uncertainty because you haven't quite done it but essentially you have yeah it's just not been a paid paid session so it was quite smooth so you, you felt very well equipped uh to take the first client and you want to do it yeah a little bit take away the nerves obviously. <laughs> a little bit of nerves but other than that you know, uh, we had all the tools to, to use to um, do what we needed to put together in a good PT session. Okay, awesome. And tell us about your first, the first uh, paying client. What was that experience like? Um, I think that, that I had a couple on my first um, morning. So first morning you had a couple of clients straight away? Yeah, yeah. and I actually can't exactly remember which clients they were. <laughs> I think I was probably so nervous that first week. Um, but 
it, it all ran smoothly. They all wanted to rebook sessions with me. Yeah. They were all happy. Um, I always asked for the feedback in case there's something that they didn't like personally. Everyone wants their session to be a little bit different. Like everyone has a little bit different ideas of what they want from a personal trainer. Yeah. Um, so I just worked with that and then worked my next session for them off of what feedback I'd received, what mm -hmm. feedback I'd received. Okay, so what are the three three the things three things you enjoyed most about the program? Um, just the positivity, the and the, the motivation and drive from the people within Max. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have been there and done that, the pioneers. So for me, that's just inspiring, and to know that there is a career within being a personal trainer. Yeah. Um, to question, um, not just to believe things mindlessly, to look at the research and the science behind things without just accepting and being taken off the wrong path. Yeah. So that's something I can use for the rest of my life. Um, and just being a happy, positive person <laughs> about life and waking up with a smile and when you're exercising, just being happy, just yeah. being positive. There's no need to waste of the world on you. Yeah. So what, what would be now the three things you enjoy most now that you're a practicing personal trainer? What would be the three things that you enjoy most about being a, a practicing personal trainer? Or um, fitness professional, I should say. <laughs> yeah, I, I love seeing people thrive to achieve goals and then start seeing results for themselves. Mm. I love hearing people's stories. Everyone comes from a different background and they've got a different story and I love to hear that. Um, and I just just seeing people strive to push to get that extra rep or whatever their goal is, whatever they want to achieve in that session. When people are just you know, when they're striving to, to be their best, yeah. I love seeing that. And what would be three pieces of advice to give someone who's thinking about becoming a fitness professional and saying, oh, should I, should I? They may be in a job they don't like, or they might be a house mum stay-at-home mum and they're thinking about what piece of advice that you'd give them based on your experience from going from at-home house mother to a uh, fitness professional. Just do it. Just get in there and do it. There, there are really good careers as fitness professionals. You just need to um, learn and be the best you can be. And there's so many different options. You can work within a gym, you can work from home, you can run your own business, uh, like have your own gym. Um, there's just so many options, you're not limited to having to work for somebody else mm. if that's not what you're wanting to do. Mm. So you can work your own hours, earn your own money, whatever you need, it's achievable. And what's the, uh, the future for Katrina? What's your future career path? Where are you going to be in two years' time? In two years' time, I'll have my um, gym set up at home. I'm going to set up a a beautiful little gym out in my garage. So you're starting that now, are you? I'm planning it. Yep. Um, I've got a few, some bits of equipment, but I want to build on that and set it out so it's presented nice for my clients. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'd hope to be, I think, um, 30 clients per week. Yep. And um, yeah, just having a ball doing it, enjoying, enjoying it. Awesome. Well, we'll hold your camera for that, won't we? <laughs>